What is Tether? Cryptocurrencies are known to be extremely volatile. The value goes up and down faster than most other assets, and with it comes the risk of losing your money. But some cryptocurrencies maintain their value equivalent to real-world money, typically US dollars. It is just like holding your dollars digitally. You could have all the benefits of holding a cryptocurrency, but no worries related to fluctuating prices. That's a great deal then, isn't it? Now, hold your horses. There are also inherent risks of holding these so-called stable coins. Risks that aren't that obvious for the untrained eye. In this video, we'll talk about all of them and discuss what you should be aware of before putting your money in Tether. Welcome to Crypto Skills, the channel that makes all the complicated crypto topics easy to understand. Let's begin. What is Tether? Tether, often referred to by its symbol, USDT, is a fiat collateralized stablecoin. It sounds quite technical, right? Let's break it down for you. Stablecoins are a type of cryptocurrency whose value remains pegged to real-world assets of currencies like US dollars or gold. Unlike the fluctuations that occur in the crypto market, stablecoins remain more or less tied to the same value as a real-world currency or assets. One of the techniques to ensure the value of the stablecoin is to physically maintain the reserves of fiat currency or asset to which its value is tied. USDT tokens are backed by US dollars and are issued by Tether Limited, a Hong Kong company. Tether Limited accepts deposits of fiat money, that is your regular US dollar currency, in return for minting Tether tokens. You can also withdraw your US dollar deposit by giving back USDT. Therefore, these tokens are pegged on a one-to-one -one basis with the US dollar. In other words, they act as a US dollar replacement in cryptocurrency format. They serve as a medium of exchange while trading in the crypto market and can be traded across different blockchains, including the Bitcoin blockchain and the Ethereum blockchain. This way, when traders and investors in the crypto market do not want to bear the brunt of volatility, they can hold Tether tokens. The obvious benefit is low volatility while still staying invested in the crypto market. USD Tether has undoubtedly become the largest stablecoin in the crypto industry, with a market cap of approximately $82 billion as of April 2022. In fact, they do not have a maximum supply. Each time dollars are deposited to Tether Limited, the USD Tether tokens are created and are backed by these USD deposits in the reserves. Now, you may wonder how Tether Limited makes money if it's just a dollar worth Tether token in return for a dollar deposited. Well, the answer to this question is that Tether Limited charges fees on deposits, withdrawals, and account verification. Tether Limited business is also similar to the banks. The deposit money is lent to other institutions in return for earning interest and invested in other businesses in return for earning profits. All right, now that you know about USDT, let me tell you that it's not the only stablecoin issued by Tether Limited. Other than the usual USDT, Tether also issues tokens backed by other currencies and commodities like euros, offshore Chinese yuan, and gold. The euro-backed Tether token is called EURT and is pegged to the value of one euro. According to its website, the EURT tokens had a market capitalization of approximately 251 million euro as of April 2022. Similarly, the offshore Chinese yuan-backed Tether token is called CNHT and is also pegged to the value of one Chinese yuan. According to its website, the CNHT token had a market capitalization of approximately 20 million offshore Chinese yuan as of April 2022. Similar to USDT, for each EURT and CNHT minted, Tether Limited has received deposits of one euro and one offshore Chinese yuan, respectively. But if you don't trust any country's currency, there is one interesting stablecoin issued by Tether Limited, Tether Gold, or XAUT. Unlike other currency-backed stablecoins, XAUT is backed by physical gold in the real world. An XAUT token is equal to one troy ounce of gold on a London goods delivery bar. The XAUT token holders have undivided ownership rights to gold on the specific gold bar. 
you can identify your gold bars with a unique serial number, weight, and purity. Only the digital version of physical assets like gold combines the benefits of both worlds. By owning XAUT tokens, you can own gold without the risks of physical gold, like the need to store it securely. Now, the popularity of Tether isn't without reason. There are quite a few benefits of stablecoins. One, avoiding traditional financial barriers. By the use of fiat-pegged stablecoins, users can go around the traditional financial barriers set in different countries. You can own an equivalent of USD or Euro or Chinese Yuan on the blockchain without facing any restrictions imposed by any government or central bank or any other centralized entity. Two, escaping hyperinflation. Failing economies usually see a trend of hyperinflation, a recent example of which is Sri Lanka. Those countries' respective currencies become weaker day by day. This means that the average person living in such failed economies is losing the value of his or her money. The stablecoins like Tether allow an escape from this and protect the purchasing power of the money of common people. By purchasing stablecoins pegged to stable currencies like USDT and EURT, you can protect the value of your assets from falling. If you convert your wealth from a failed economy's currencies to one of the strong fiat pegged stablecoins, you could escape the nightmare of hyperinflation. 3. Sending money. If you are a person who regularly sends the money to someone in a different country than yours, you will be familiar with the slow, costly, and heavily red taped process. You are required to comply with foreign exchange regulations, pay high transaction fees, and even then, it takes a lot of time to transfer even one dollar to your friend in another country. The process is just not very efficient. Fiat pegged stablecoins offer the best alternative for such transactions. One can purchase and send fiat pegged stablecoins to anyone, anywhere. Except for light transaction fees, this process is a lot quicker with no third party involved. 4. Buying and selling on blockchain. Stablecoins are exactly what you need if you want to store your capital in the crypto world without any price volatilities. Stablecoins are used to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies on different exchanges, get involved in the tokens of decentralized applications and decentralized finance, and even play blockchain-based games. To put it shortly, it allows you to safely interact with the blockchain. Now, before you put all your money in Tether, let me highlight that it's not all rainbows and unicorns. You should be aware of the controversies surrounding Tether. But before we move on to that, please hit the like button to show your support. It makes us feel appreciated for all the hard work we put into making these videos. All right then, let's delve deep into the company Tether Limited and understand how they operate. Though USDT follows Bitcoin and Ethereum in the market capitalization, which are the flag bearers of decentralization, it is totally different from them. Tether Limited, which manages USDT, is a private company that is a centralized entity. This part itself is against decentralization, which is the core value of the blockchain-based economy. But apart from this, there are three specific controversies that make Tether controversial. First, unclear relationship with the Bitfinex exchange. Bitfinex is one of the largest Bitcoin exchanges by volume in the world. While the representatives from Tether and Bitfinex said that they are separate, the corporate leaks have shown that they are owned by the same group of people. Also, the CEO of both companies is the same person. In 2019, New York Attorney General filed a suit accusing Bitfinex of using Tether's reserves to cover up a loss of $850 million. In 2021, Bitfinex and Tether agreed to pay $18.5 million as a settlement for this suit without admitting or denying the claims. Second, alleged role in price manipulation of Bitcoin. Certain media outlets and other researchers have claimed that the Bitcoin value was artificially inflated by Tether and Bitfinex Exchange, which is under investigation by the US authorities. These claims are outrightly rejected by JL van der Velde, CEO of both Bitfinex and Tether. Third, allegations of lack of transparency. Now this, according to me, is a far larger issue for investors who place their trust in Tether. 
Tether Limited has never substantiated its claim of maintaining equivalent currency reserves at all times to back the Tether coins issued. Despite the controversies, it has failed to present reliable audits showing that the amount of Tethers outstanding are backed one-to-one -one by US dollars. In 2021, Tether paid a $41 million fine for making misleading claims and statements that it was fully backed by the US dollar. This paved the way to raise questions about Tether's transparency. However, Tether continues to claim that it backs 100% of its tokens, and Tether's USDT remains the most preferred stablecoins for users. Out of thousands of cryptocurrencies, its market capitalization is third, only after Bitcoin and Ethereum. This seems like a testament to the confidence that crypto investors place in it. Now that you know the benefits as well as risks, coming to what really matters. Is Tether a good investment opportunity? Well, it's a two-sided sword. On one hand, if you have invested in Tether, it's unlikely that the fall in the overall crypto market would affect your investment. On the other hand, if you see the next boom in cryptocurrencies, like the one we saw in 2020 and 2021, Tether investments won't help you become rich. If you want to keep your funds safe with no price volatilities, then stablecoins like Tether would be ideal for you. But remember that it's stablecoin and there are no prospects of making profits on Tether. In conclusion, I think personally that if Tether wants to fit within the crypto world, it surely can improve its transparency by conducting proper audits. Even if it is a centralized entity, transparency is key to avoid skepticism and maintain the confidence of users that their funds are secure with Tether. What are your thoughts about Tether? Do you use or plan to use Tether as a safe haven so you find your next best bet in crypto? I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to show your appreciation for our efforts and consider subscribing so you don't miss our next bite-sized explainer video on crypto. I will see you in the next video. Take care.